What is up you guys, Nicola Maserati here. You guys are having a great week. Today is Friday, so it's supposed to be again another pro tip Thursday, but it's Friday. I was working all day yesterday, it was a really busy day. Uh, so I'm filming today, getting it done today, getting you guys a video. I still wanna make sure I get you guys a video at least twice a week. Also, check this out. So I don't know if you guys are into puzzles at all, but this thing is extremely frustrating. This is by a company called Hanayama. You can buy these at like bookstores like Barnes & Noble. I know they have them at a bunch of different places, but um, I got this. I actually watch a lot of Chris Ramsey. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of Chris Ramsey, definitely go check him out. But he does a lot of puzzles, and I think he did this one. So I've been trying to figure it out. This one's called The Nutcase. Uh, it's pretty difficult. I think it's like a level 7 out of 10 or a five out of six, I think is how they do their thing, but I guess maybe that's an eight out of 10. This thing's really cool. So if you're into puzzles, definitely go check this out. I've solved it once already, um, and then I was trying to solve it again, and I got it stuck, and it's just, uh Sucks. But anyway, guys, so if you remember last week, last Pro Tip Thursday, uh, we talked about how to cut up a large sequence into a bunch of multiple clips in a really easy way. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out here. But today we are following that up with the best way to export multiple clips in Adobe Premiere Pro. So before we get into it, let's run that Pro Tip Friday intro. All right guys, so like I said, today we're gonna to be talking about how to export multiple clips the easy way in Adobe Premiere Pro. So enough of me talking, let's just get into Premiere. All right guys, so we are in Adobe Premiere Pro right now. So typically what you'll do is when you're trying to export one clip at a time, you'll go to the beginning of the first clip, you'll hit I, go to the end, and hit O. Once you've done that, you'll go to File, Export, Media, or you could just hit Control M. Then you'll select the specific preset that you wanna use for this video. If you haven't seen my video on the best export settings, uh, definitely go check that out. I will leave that somewhere up here. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna leave it in match source high bitrate. Now, typically what people will do is they'll go straight to export and export straight out of Premiere. I personally don't like to do that. So instead of hitting export, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Q. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna open Adobe Media Encoder. The really cool thing about Adobe Media Encoder is that when you start to export that specific clip or any clip in general um, all you have to do is go up here and hit play but while you're doing that you can actually still work in Premiere while it's exporting one of the things you can do as well is if you forgot to select the specific preset that you wanted to use you can still edit that so if I click here where it says match source high bitrate right under preset if you click that it'll bring up the settings so you can rename this so for example if I want to go to my desktop and go to folder one and then name this uh, clip one. You can do that. And then if I wanna adjust the specific preset, if I forgot to do that, we can just go here. Also, you can change your source range if you forgot to do that. So if for some reason it selected the entire sequence, uh, you can just click that, go down and hit sequence in and out, click okay and you're good to go. So if I hit play here, while this is exporting, I can go back and select my other clips. So the cool thing about this is while that's exporting to the folder that I made, I can go to the second clip, I can hit I and O to select my in and out points, and then I can export that as well. So we can do this again and I'll just change everything here. So we'll go back to my desktop, go to folder one and we'll name this clip two. Go back down, hit Q, and it'll bring it right in there. So when this one's done, this one will start. And all you have to do is if you have a ton of different clips, for example, I think I have about 10 here, you can go through, set your in and out points, name it and everything like that, and you can still work in Premiere while Media Encoder is running. Another really cool thing is because Premiere takes up so much RAM, if you're exporting through Media Encoder, you can actually close Premiere and that's gonna save you some RAM, which is gonna e increase the speed of your export. All right, guys, so let's get back to my face. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something from it. If you did like it, please hit the like button below. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.